this video, we are looking at optimum tilt angles for PV modules. Every solar PV installer needs to set modules orientation accurately. To achieve the maximum power output from a PV module, its tilt angle should be adjusted to a near perpendicular to the sunbeams. We do that by adjusting the module's uh, inclination angle and the azimuth so that the module is almost perpendicular to the sunbeams. So for sites in the north, they'll point their modules towards the equator, which is southwards. And for those in the south, we'll point the modules northwards towards the, the equator. So you see in this diagram, it is facing south, implying that this site is in the north. The azimuth is based on compass direction to the north, with the north being zero degrees and south is 180 degrees. It is measured clockwise from due north. So in order to get our tilt angle, and we are looking at a fixed system in this case, the optimum tilt angle is given by this equation here, where we are saying optimum tilt angle, that is beta, is equal to the latitude of the location, which we have given phi, then either plus or minus 15 degrees. So, let us understand this. The optimum tilt angle is always a positive value so that the array always faces the direction of the equator. We have seen that from that diagram. And for sites in the northern hemisphere, subtract 15 from 5. So meaning this equation, this part here becomes negative and so we will subtract the 15 degrees. And the array are set facing south, azimuth 180 degrees. Actually azimuth as we've seen is a compass direction. And for R in the south, add 15 degrees to the equation, so this part becomes positive. So set the panels facing true north, azimuth is equal to zero, as we see here. So if we consider site with these coordinates, the latitude 48.130627 and longitude of 11.580 plus plus. So to get our tilt angle, we'll apply the equation and get that the inclination or the tilt angle for that module will be 33 degrees. Using this equipment here, which has both the inclinometer and a compass, it is possible to determine your inclination if you just place this edge of this equipment on the roof or on the support structure of the module. Although this is analog, these days we have phones which have apps that perform this function. You can get a phone that will both have the inclinometer and of course a compass. And then that will help you to determine the inclination and as well as get the azimuth uh, angle. So along the equatorial band, uh, we are talking of 10 degrees south and 10 degrees north. The array should be tilted to a minimum of 10 degrees because essentially the array should almost be facing up perpendicularly. But now in order for it to clean because of soiling and dust that will build up, you need to put it at say a minimum of 10 degrees so that when it rains, the rain can be able to wash the particles that will have built up on the surface. Now this is just an example of a structure that can be used along this band. Because we've said that in the equatorial band, the array can also be oriented north-south with a little change in the output, meaning that the modules can either face the south or face the north, or you can have some facing north, some facing south as per this structure, with very little change in the output of the modules. And we are saying a few degrees of the equation does not make any significant difference in the energy collected by the modules. So this is just a small guide to help you set your modules in the correct tilt and uh, azimuth. Bye bye.